Hi, so in this video I'm going to do something I've not done for a long time and that's cutting some fabric on the scan and cut machine. I'm going to be using one of the inbuilt pattern designs that's in the machine. I'm going to cut the fabric and then I'm going to attempt to do some sewing on card, which is something I've never done before. So, I've got a piece of card here that was a piece of A4 white card which I've cut down the middle and scored in half and that's going to be my base card. Then I've got a matting layer that's going to go on top like that and this matting layer is cut at 5 and 5 eighths by 4 and then I've got a piece of white card which is the card I'm eventually going to sew on hopefully and this piece of card me measures 5 and 3 eighths by 3 and 3 quarters and that is going to sit on there like that. So I'm going to cut some designs out of fabric and hopefully sew them onto this piece of card, then layer all this up. So I've pulled out some um, fabric from my stash. Now this is obviously something I've cut with the scan and cut before because it's got cutouts already in it and it's got the um, some kind of an iron on backing on it and I'm not sure what that is to be honest but it's probably something like heat and bond I think you may call it wonder under in the US heat and bond is generally the one that I use the most but it doesn't look like heat and bond this unless it's heat and bond light so I'm going to <clears throat> just to stop it sticking to my little ironing board I'm just going to put a piece of greaseproof paper down and I'm just going to iron this flat because it has been stored and it's got a fold and everything in it. And I just want to make sure that whatever it is that's on the back of here is fully, you know, fully stuck down in readiness for me to cut out with the scan and cut. So I'm just going to give it a quick press. So that's one piece. And then I've, this definitely is heat and bond. And if you've not seen this before, it's got a paper side and a knobbly side. And the knobbly side is the glue. So I'm going to put that down onto the back of my fabric with the paper side up, the dull side up. And I'm just going to iron that in place. Now I'm just going to set that aside just to cool down for a few minutes and I'm just going to put the iron out of the way. And while that's cooling, I'm going to bring in the machine and show you the pattern that I'm going to be cutting. So I'm going to go into the patterns. So I'm going into the second option, which is the one that's got the flower and like the present. Then I'm going to come into the one that's got the boat and the car. And I want this rocket. Okay, so this piece of card that I want to put the pattern on is five and three eighths wide. So I'm going to make this rocket a bit smaller than its standard size because I want to put another pattern on it and I want to write a greeting on it. So I'm going to take it down to three and a quarter inches wide and say okay. Now, I want the, the main rocket shape, which is pattern A. And then I'm going to go back and add D. And then I'm going to go back and add E and say OK. So these are my three bits that I want to cut from fabric. OK, so I'm... I'm going to cut a section of this fabric off because I don't want to put all that fabric on my mat just for a small design. So I'm just going to chop this bit off, the bit that's got the um, ironed on backing on it, of what whatever it is. And then here's my piece of fabric that you've just seen me add the heat and bond onto. So I'm going to put these fabric 
stiffener side down. So let's just say they both heat and bond. They're going to go on the mat, heat and bond side down. Okay, so I'm going to do a background scan now and position these three shapes onto the fabric. I'm going to set my blade at four my cut pressure at four and I'm going to put my speed on five and say okay and hopefully cut these three shapes out of this fabric just going to lift the fabric and just see if it has cut through and it has on that one and it looks as though it has on that one although it looks as though it might be caught in one little spot so I'm going to say finish and unload And this is how we're looking. So hopefully that's my little rocket and that's the little porthole window for the rocket. And then I want to cut one more shape, which I could have done actually all in one go, but I forgot to put it on. So I'm going to put this piece back on go back go back to add back to patterns and find the little moon there and I'm going to say okay and put it on the map first of all to see how big it is in comparison to my rocket so I obviously want to resize it don't know how well you're going to see this because this rock this moon's coming quite big so I'm going to resize it down by eye so it looks as though it's going to be right for the size of the rocket. I'm going to rotate it a bit and then I'm going to size it down a bit more. Okay, so we've got one and a half inches wide. So I think that will probably do. So I'm going to say OK. Oh, sorry. I'm going to say OK. I'm going to get rid of the other bits. And I'm going to do a background scan again. going to cut this moon out of the fabric. I'm just going to make the background darker so it shows up a bit more and I'm going to say okay and cut. And again I'm just going to lift up the fabric and just make sure it has cut through. Yeah, it has. So 
So there's my little moon. So my idea was that I was going to stick it all onto this base card. Something like this. And have my moon. And then I was going to get the scan and cut to write a greeting. So I think I might move it down a bit. Like that. And then have the greeting written up here. So I think what I'll do, I think I'll put some heat on this and just stick them down to the card before I start sewing. So I'm just going to get my piece of greaseproof paper again. I've positioned the bits of fabric on the card and I'm just going to put the greaseproof paper over it just really to stop the iron from scorching the white card. I'm going to bring my iron in and just apply some heat and hopefully let those bits of fabric stick to the card which will just help I think when I come to want to sew them down so it will all hopefully once I've sewn it down layer up like that and then I'm going to write a greeting here okay so here's how we're looking so far so now i'm thinking that i'm just going to do a straight stitch all the way around the edge of the design i've never sewn on card before so i don't know how it's going to turn out and one thing i would just say is um this needle that i've got in this machine is old so i'm just going to use this needle and then i probably won't use it again or i might just keep it separately for paper if i decide to try anything like this again So I'm just going to put, I've got the machine on a regular straight stitch, I've got my regular foot on and I'm just going to sew around here and see what happens. Okay, so that's how we're looking so far. So I'm just going to sew around the other bits and then I'll be back. Okay, so here's how it's looking now. All sewn around. So now I'm going to put this back onto my scan mat and I'm going to scan it through and get the scan and cut to write me a greeting on here and then hopefully assemble the card and let's see how it looks when it's finished. Okay, so I've loaded the card onto the mat. I've got my universal pen holder with a pen. You've seen me use this many times before. I've used it recently in live videos. So if you go to the live playlist, there's a playlist all about this. And there's also one I've done a week or so ago using the, um, the fill patterns. So I'm going to take the blade out and then I'm going to go into patterns save data and into the machine and I should have a file on here full of greetings which I have and I want one of these I'm going to get rid of all these delete them and then this is the one I want hopefully so I'm going to say okay and do a background scan
Now I'm just going to zoom in and hopefully make sure that my words are positioned where I want them to be on this card. I'm going to say OK, OK and draw. out of the way and this is what we've got so it says love you to the moon and back so now I'm just going to quickly assemble this card like so and then I'm going to pop this up on dimensionals so <clears throat> or 3D foam, whatever you want to call it. So I'm just going to pop this up quickly. So <clears throat> just before I finish this video, if any of you would like me to do a live stream on cutting fabric so that you can maybe uh, um, ask me, you know, questions as I'm going, just give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment below and I'll see if I can't do a live stream on cutting fabric at some point in the future. So there's our card. Quite cute. So I hope you found that helpful. Please give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn the notifications bell icon on and then you'll be kept up to date when I post videos or live streams and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.